In this video, we will practice making Venn diagrams and using set notation. Now, if you see this symbol, remember that this means and. Um, it might help you remember if you keep in mind that you could make an A out of this, A for and. Um, whenever you're dealing with this symbol, when you're doing an AND problem, if you look at a Venn diagram, then what you want is the overlap of the two sets. So AND is always going to be the overlap. And AND is always going to be more, well I shouldn't say always, but uh, an AND problem will almost always be more than just one set by itself. On the other hand, if you see this symbol, this means OR. And if you're talking about a Venn diagram, when you're dealing with OR, it's going to be all of both. All right, OR will be all of both. And because of that, or will almost always give you more. More than just one set by itself. So keep this in mind as we go through all of these problems. Now, in a survey of what type of fast food people liked, 24 people said they like burgers. Hold on. Um, 24 people like burgers. And 35 people said they like chicken. 15 people said they like both burgers and chicken. A total of 50 people were surveyed. So keep in mind, um, you should always start with the overlapping part. 15 people who liked burgers and chicken, you should write that number down in the overlapping section first. Now, 24 people like, uh, like burgers. So I need a number out here that will help this 15 add up to 24. So in other words, what is uh, 24 minus 15? Uh, so that should be 9. So that's how you get this number that goes out here. You take the total number and you subtract the overlapping part. Similarly, 35 people said they like chicken. Uh, but you have to subtract the 15 people that we already have written down. These 15 people like chicken. Um, so we have to subtract those people from the total to figure out the number that goes out here. Okay, so that's going to be 20. Notice that the 15 and the 20 together make the 35 people who like chicken. Now, if you add up all of these numbers, um, 25 and 15, that's 35, um, plus 9 more is 44. So looking at these numbers, so far we've got 44 people. But there are 50 people in the survey. That means that there are six other people. There are six people who like neither burgers nor chicken. And that six goes right here in the Venn diagram. So part A was simply to complete the Venn diagram. Um, next we're supposed to find the probability of B. So B is both of these. All right, and we already know that 24 people like burgers, so of course this makes 24. So the probability of B is going to be 24 over something. Anytime we do probability, and that's what P stands for, we're always doing target over total. All right, that's what probability is, target over total. So the target is the B, which is 24. Now the total is the total number of people surveyed. That was 50. 
So 24 out of 50. So of course we could reduce this or turn it into a percent or something, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Let's move on to part C. The probability of B or C. That's what this symbol means, remember. This is B or C. And like we said, when we see this symbol, it's gonna be all of both. So B or C is gonna be um, all of the people who like burgers, all right, which includes these 15 people. And it will also be all of the people who like chicken. So these three numbers represent the people that like burgers or chicken. It's just all of both sets. And that is 44. Um, so that's why we're, it's going to be 44 out of 50. Okay, this is the probability of B and C. Well, B and C is going to be the overlapping part, which is 15. So that's why we're going to have 15. All right, it's probability, so it's going to be a fraction, 15 out of a total of 50. This little mark on the B means not B. So we have to be very careful. Uh, this is an AND problem, so that means we want the overlap of not B and C. Let's start with not B. Okay, the not B numbers are the 20 and the 6. All right, these are the people who do not like burgers, not B. Now, uh, okay, so we've done this so far. Now I'm going to do C in blue. The people that like chicken are C. Okay, so there are two numbers that represent C. The 15 and the 20. Now, remember this is an AND problem. We want the overlap between these two sets. Um, that's why I did yellow and blue. So it would be really obvious that the overlap is green. So that's 20. Uh-oh. What did they erase? Oh, just that color. So the overlapping part is 20. So that's why I'm going to have 20 out of 50. Okay, um, now this vertical line right here is red given. So this is the probability of B given C. And uh, the way we do given problems is we highlight the given and we cross out everything else. So we are given C. So let us highlight C and cross out everything else. So these are the C numbers, um, but we need to cross out everything else. So we need to cross out the nine and the six. All right, that's step one, highlight the given cross out everything else so we've done that now we will do target over total for probability okay let's start with the total we have a new total until now the total was always 50 50 50 50 because there were 50 people that were in this survey um, but we've now crossed out some things so there's going to be a new total based on what's left over. So this is going to be 35 will be the new total. Now we're supposed to find the probability of B um, using our new numbers. 
So that will be the target will be the B part that's left. All right, so which of these numbers is B? It's the 15, all right? The 15 is a part of the B circle, all right? 15 of, of these people do like burgers. So 15 is the target. But instead of 15 out of 50, it's 15 out of 35. Last one. Um, again, this means given. So this would be read the probability of B given not C. Okay, not C. And um, as I told you before, the way we do these problems, the given problems, is you highlight the given and you cross out everything else. So remember that the given is not C. Okay, so let me start over with my highlighting and such. Uh-oh. Okay, so the given is not C. So here's a number that is not C. And here is a number that is not C. All right, technically it goes all the way around like this, but all I really care about is the nine and the six. All right, those are not C, people who don't like chicken. And then we're supposed to cross out everything else. So we're gonna cross out the 15 and the 20. And now we can do the probability target over total. All right, so target over total. All right, there will be a new total because we cross things out. So there'll be a new total that is not 50. The new total is going to be 15. All right, it's the remaining numbers 9 and 6. So the new total is 15. All right, the target is the B part. All right, the B part is the 9. So 9 over 15.